Greetings to you all in the most mighty, matchless, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I invite you all to break through uh, episode 7 uh, today at Saturday 7 p.m. Uh, I thank prayer group team Jesus and brother Ashish Kumar for giving me this opportunity to come before all of you to praise his name, to share his gospel, to share his word and to meditate upon his word. I request you all to please uh, share this link to your friends, sisters and brothers so that we all could be blessed by this fellowship. Let's just start with a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for giving us one more Saturday to come into your presence, to pray, to seek you, to humble ourselves before you. Lord, to know your heart so that we could know what is your will for us and live our lives in a most fruitful way on this planet earth, Lord. Lord, many people are suffering in this world. People are going towards fleshly pleasures. People are running towards things that do not save their souls at this moment on the Saturday, Lord. But you have set us apart so that we can be spending some time in your presence so that we could live fruitful lives and we can have an entry into the eternal kingdom, Lord. We are so grateful and thankful, Lord. Today, no matter the states of our heart and mind, whether we are disturbed, whether we are happy, whether we are normal, whether we are suffering, whatever we are going through, we are coming into your presence just the way we are, Father. We need your presence. We need your guidance. We need your help. We need your hand in this prayer, Lord, in this episode, Lord where we praise you and worship you and meditate on the word of God. People are coming with so many burdens and so many desires, Lord. People are going through a lot of troubles in this generation, Father. Lord, through this time that we are spending in your presence, bring a change, touch us, fill us, open our eyes, open our ears, bring a transformation that you so desire in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Greetings to you all once again in the most mighty matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, let's just quickly get into praising our God. Uh, this is such an honorable moment. It's such a praiseworthy moment that we get to do this every week without any hindrance. These are the times when the churches are being persecuted in the north. All over the world people are being killed and they are being tortured for believing in the name of the Lord Jesus but today here we are having all the freedom to praise and worship him so I request you all to join in unity with me so that we can praise him and bring the heaven down and be a testimony to many others let's just quickly worship him I request you all not to let this moment go by his spirit is here his presence is here. I know most of our hearts are heavy. So is mine. But God is here to bring a change and transformation in our life. Amen. Let's just sing this. Let the king of my heart. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run. The fountain I drink from. He is our song. He is our life. He is our everything. Amen. Let's sing it together. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow. The ransom for my life, oh, he is my son. You are good, good, oh, you are good, good, oh, you are good, Lord. We worship you, you are good. So good, oh, let the king of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves, oh, he is my song, let the 
Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my wings, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my song. Let, let the king of my heart be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my wings, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my song, for you are good, good, oh, you are good, good, sing it with me, oh, God is good, you are good, so good, oh, you are good, so good. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down you're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. He's never gonna let us down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You are the good. Oh, Lord, you are the so good. You're never gonna let me down, Lord. You will never, so never gonna let me down. Help me to trust you, Father. You're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna, you're never gonna let, you're never gonna let me down. Let's believe that and receive it. That God is a God who will never let us down. He is good and his love endures forever. He has been faithful from the creation of the world. From the time we have been born onto this earth till date. We worship you Father Lord. You are the king of our hearts. You are the king of our minds. You are the king of our souls. You are the king of our spirits. No matter what we are going through, Father, help us to believe, help us to realize, help us to see that you are a God who has been good, who will be good. Help us not to go by the circumstances that we are going through, but help us to fix our hearts and minds, our souls on you because that is where we will end up. That is where our souls belong, Father. We thank you for everybody who is joining this live with a burdened heart. We thank you for everybody who is joining this live with a joyful heart. We thank you for everyone who is joining this live session with a, with a thirsty heart, with a grateful heart. Lord, no matter however the people are coming into this episode, Father, you take control of us. You mold us, Lord. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for being here. Fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, might, fear of God, counsel and your holiness and your power. Holy Spirit God, we need your power, the resurrection power that so mightily worked in Jesus when he was on earth. We ask you to touch us with that spirit so that we can bear fruit for your kingdom. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I request you all to 
once again share the link with your loved ones and I thank prayer group team Jesus for this opportunity and brother Ashish Kumar specifically. Let's get straight into the word of God. Till now we have spoken about various topics. We have spoken about pursuing faith. We have spoken about not being afraid. We have spoken about pursuing righteousness. Uh, we have spoken about loneliness. We have God has spoken to us on a lot of topics, but today he has put a certain thought in my mind. He has started a thought in my mind and I want to talk about that thought which is known as the battle of the mind, the battle for the mind or the battle of the mind. Tonight, there is a great battle that every human being is going through. The with the either with the forces of satan or with the forces of god and this battle is not in the physical world it is in the realm of our mind it is within our heads second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 if you can turn your bible says that for though we live in this world we do not wage war as the world does the weapons we fight are not the weapons of the world on the contrary on the contrary, they have divine power to demolish every strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Today, if you are a Christian, today, if you are a believer, you are engaged in a warfare, not in a playground, not in a basketball field, not in a football ground. But you are in a battlefield and this battlefield is in here. It is your mind. And the weapons we use are not guns, tanks, bombs, knives. But the weapons we use are spiritual. It is, the, it is through prayer and the meditation of the word of God. And by confessing the word of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit is how we can bring our thoughts captive to Christ. Thoughts are extremely powerful. They can either harm us or they can help us. So how are you using this extremely powerful tool that God has given you? What do you think? What do you feed your mind? What, what do you keep telling your mind? Today let me tell you what has gotten hold of your mind, what has gotten hold of your thoughts has gotten a hold of you. So one of the most important things that we need to learn right now at this moment is to train, control, guard and renew our minds according to the word of God. So where is your mind today? Today let me just define what strongholds are. Strongholds could be two types. It could be the way the thinking patterns of the world. Probably you are an atheist. You don't believe there is no God. Probably you are a humanist. You believe that there is no need of God. That humans are the center of life and life revolves around them. Maybe you could, maybe uh, you are a religious leader and you have come up with different teachings or maybe different principles according to the flesh that you must worship God in certain way. These are all organizational thoughts. These all are community thoughts that set themselves up against the knowledge of God, which are strongholds. And number two, the second type of strongholds could be an attitude, an attitude of your mind, an attitude of your brain. Today, you are having an attitude of worry. You are having an attitude of seeking the approval of others constant attention of others. Maybe you are having an attitude of being manipulative or maybe you have an attitude of being jealous. Maybe you are just so addicted to money, name, fame, everything that is an idol in your heart which sets itself up above God is also a stronghold. Right. So these two types of strongholds of our mind, the Bible says that we must capture it and captivate it and tear it down in the presence of Christ, under the altar of Christ. But how do we do that? How do I teach my mind to obey Christ? Our minds never listen to us. It is like a monkey. It is often disobedient and rebellious and it wants to definitely go in a different direction apart from the one that God desires for us. That is how our mind is. It has a disease. The Bible says the heart is the most deceptive and it has a disease and no one can understand it and it doesn't have any cure. It is the most hard 
and it is the most devious thing that god has that god has god has given us a heart that wants to be connected to him but the world is bombarding us with ideas that take us away from god in pro, in uh, one of the chapters paul says i believe in romans 719 for i do not do the good i want to do but the evil i do not want to do i always end up doing it so today maybe you want to do something good for god maybe you want to pray maybe you want to read the word maybe you want to run to christ maybe you want to think about what is good in the presence of christ jesus said the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak the mind is weak so let us learn some principles which will help us win the battle of our mind the first thing we must do is not believe everything that comes into our mind the world constant constantly bombards us with advertisements it gives us a lot of information it gives us a lot of suggestions which are not true they are false and they stand against the knowledge of god and our minds see what exactly what we want to see they are deceived by the time we come into our mother's womb itself the way we perceive things and see things is totally messed up but it says in romans that do not conform to the patterns of the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind god is asking us to transform the renew the, the way we think by renewing our mind and how do we do that in proverbs it says keep your mouth free of perversity let your eyes look straight ahead give careful thought to the paths of your feet keep your feet away from evil when we have a check on the words that come out of our mouth be it slander gossip bad words be it anything if we are able to tame the tongue it says in james that any animal in this world can be tamed lion tiger any animal can be tamed anything can be tamed but the tongue cannot be tamed it is a small thing that sets fire to the course of our entire life with the tongue with the mouth you can decide to whether to go into the kingdom of god or to end up in the kingdom of the devil forever so keep a check on the words that come out of your mouth and secondly keep a check on what your eyes see what do your eyes see is it desiring the worldly things or godly things and then lastly keep a check on the feet on the way you are walking in this world whether you are falling into the worldly patterns or you are consciously putting efforts to run towards the kingdom of god this will help us to renew our minds and not believe every thought that comes into the mind it will help us decide and discern whether this thought is coming from the devil or this thought is coming from the word of god that is the first method with which we can renew our mind and win the battle of the mind and secondly we must guard our brain from garbage the bible says the discerning mind seeks knowledge but fools will always feed on foolishness they search for foolishness they delight in foolishness today what have you trained your mind to feed on are you feed maybe maybe you are not committing adultery maybe you are not committing adultery but maybe you are watching television full of adultery today you might not be lying but maybe you are standing in a court giving false accusations against your brothers and sisters you might not be stealing you might not be murdering but you might be living a manipulative life to become rich to have fame and name and money in this world but god is inviting us not to set any worthless things before our eyes in god is asking us not to fill our lives with garbage if you fill it with your garbage you will give out garbage and the only way you can not fill it with garbage is to pray in philippians it says do not be anxious about anything but in everything with prayer and petition and thanksgiving submit your requests to god and the god of all peace will guard your mind in christ jesus This prayer is not a prayer where you close your eyes and kneel down you must have that you must have that every day at least the 10% of your day you must have that prayer experience but this sort of prayer is a daily conversation with god constantly in your heart mind and soul where you are constantly in connection with god asking him to filter out the garbage 
and keep you straight on the path. And secondly, apart from prayer, Paul says, set your minds on things which are praiseworthy, which are good, which are just, which are which are righteous before God's eyes. When we have to resist any temptation, we should not only think of running away from it, but we must shift our focus onto a different thing. When Joseph was seduced by his master's wife, when Poth in, by Potiphar's wife, he ran toward the other direction. If you ask a little child not to eat a cookie, they will say, they might say, we, we don't want to eat it, but we will see it. That is where the whole sin starts. They will just look at the cookie. They will just look at the cookie. And then finally, when we are not around, they will end up eating the cookie. So in the same way, when you want to resist any temptation towards, when you want to resist any temptation and when you want to run away from it, you must not stop, just stop thinking about it. But you must reshift your focus onto God. Do not exclude yourself. Do not seclude yourself from the company and the fellowship of your fellow believers. Spend your time meditating on the word of God. Focus on what you are doing. Maintain discipline. Maintain consistency. And enjoy the fellowship of your brethren. And lastly, to win the battle of this mind, we must constantly bring our burdens to Christ. In the Bible, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Taking the load of sin, especially temptation, worry, and pain, whatever you're going through, constantly to the presence of God will help you win the battle of mind. Today, you might go to church and say, Lord, I give you my financial burdens to you. Lord, I give you my family burdens to you. Lord, I give you my heart pain to you. But tomorrow on Monday, you might just take it up back without your knowledge. God is saying you must constantly, constantly submit your burden in my presence. And this is one of the keys to winning the battles of your life. So to conclude, my dear brothers and sisters, our minds are our battlefields. We spend most of our times alone. And the only companion we have in our life is our mind. So to, it is based on how you train your mind, how you teach your mind to obey and be captive to the word of God on a daily basis. And how do we do that? We are having a disease of sin. And the word of God says that you must not believe everything that comes into your mind. This will happen when you renew, renew your mind. And how will you renew your mind? When... You keep a watch on the words of your mouth, on the paths of your feet, on the sight of your eyes. And when you do not let garbage into your life with constant prayer, constant prayer and by reshifting your focus of the temptation on the temptation towards God, you must reshift your focus on a daily basis. And lastly, by carrying your burden to, to the cross, to the cross of Christ every day. Whatever burden is there in your mind, in your heart, in your thoughts, we must carry it to the altar of Christ on a daily basis. And this, my friends, will help us win the battle of our mind. Let us pray. Father God, thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to come into your presence once again, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us that there is a way that we can, we can be victorious over the battles that we go through our minds. Lord, we are not able to do the good that you want us to do, but we end up doing the evil that you want, that we do not want to do. And this disease can be cured, this sin can be cured only through your help, Father. And we acknowledge it fully in your presence, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to help us to fix our eyes on you, to keep a watch. We ask you to help us to keep a watch on the words that come out of our mouth. Help us to keep a watch on what we see. Help us, Lord, to not let garbage into our life, but to spend our life of prayer on a daily basis, a constant conversation with you. And help us to reshift our attention and focus from the temptation toward you and things that will mold us and benefit our regular life. Help us, Lord, to carry our burdens to you 
on a daily basis father we cannot do this in our own strength we need your help we come to your cross especially those who have not taken baptism those who have not accepted christ as their personal savior those christians that are backslidden and who are struggling at the moment we rededicate our lives to you at the cross where you died 2000 years ago for us through your blood you gave us redemption through your blood you gave us victory through your blood you gave us healing through your blood you gave us success through your blood you gave us every every you gave us the grace to win everything that we have thought was impossible lord you crushed the head of satan and you made us holy through your blood we ask you to cleanse us through that blood right now we come under your holy covenant once again renew your covenant with us once again father renew our minds in your presence once again father lord our hearts are not ours our lives are not ours but yours father right now we want to spend some time in prayer and we want to ask you for the requests of every single viewer that is seeing sitting here and participating at the moment lord lord there are people who are asking for jobs there are people who are suffering with various diseases like cancer people who are suffering with a lot of financial problems lord people who are suffering with a lot of familial problems father people who are suffering with all kinds of debts lord people who are suffering with all sorts of temptations and secret sins lord people who are suffering with backsliding lord who are not able to stand fully in your presence but are putting one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom of god lord there are all sorts of people seated here and we cry out to you on our behalf lord lord we are not perfect lord but you are a god who have come onto this earth to make us perfect according to your righteousness and your blood so we ask you lord to look upon the needs of your people every single person who's participating lord rebuke all the evil spirits in their lives lord that are trying to disturb them and distract them lord give them a right mind to make the right decisions according to your kingdom of god lord lord we thank you lord for you have been faithful lord help us not to rely on our own wisdom knowledge and understanding but on a daily basis help us to look to you father father you bring a change that we so desire we cannot do it in our own strength we are only your servants lord we are only your vessels father you bring a change in every single viewer of this episode father we ask you to fulfill the desires of their heart we ask you to encourage the disheartened lord we ask you to give the give wisdom to those people who are not able to make the right decisions father we release all your blessings and all your love and all the promises the power in every single promise that you have made for us in the word of god we ask you to release it upon every single viewer at this moment father we are at a place where we are gratefully receiving it lord we are not only asking you what but we are believing and receiving whatever we are asking of you in your presence we believe that you are well able to do above and beyond we could ever ask or imagine in jesus name i pray amen i'll greet you all once again in the most mighty uh, mighty matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ i thank prayer group team jesus and brother ashish kumar for this opportunity um i request you to please share the link with your loved ones and i will see you all next saturday at the same time 7 pm uh in another episode of breakthrough thank you all